Hey, welcome back to our video series. Today we are going to actually focus on how to add a user to Facebook business page for 2021. It's hard to believe 2020 COVID year is coming to an end soon. Stick with it. This is being brought to you by Cash Data Consulting LLC. We are a search engine and marketing firm in Plano, Texas. And my name is Kashif Mughal. So, uh, the, so a valid question you may have is why would I need to add a user to our Facebook business page? Well, that's a valid question. You may have an associate or an intern or the worst, a digital marketing firm like Cash Data working on your social media. That's a joke, just kidding on that last part. But there are many reasons that you may want to uh, give access, okay? Um, before we do this, realize that the target person, whoever you're trying to give access to, they themselves have to log into their Facebook account, okay? And then they have to like the Facebook, Facebook business page that they are trying to manage. So this, these steps have to be done first. Um, this video, um, sorry, this uh, link over here also explain this. So let me just uh, kind of highlight <clears throat> this particular page kind of goes through what we're trying to do. So I'm actually going to, um, what I'm going to do is log into my uh, business page. So that is me. And there's always a 50-50 chance I can get into my account, which I know is very sad. But let's just do this. Um, so when I log in, um, I actually will go into uh, the pages are here. Some of the pages we manage. I'm actually going to click on our, <clears throat> this is our main business page, Dallas SEO, we're a consulting agency like, like I mentioned. So now I'm actually going to give another person access to this particular page, okay? So here's the, here's the by the way, the URL. Um, so before we do that though, um, let's step back and look at uh, the different page roles that exist in Facebook, okay? Uh, there's actually, I believe, uh, five or six levels. We're only going to cover the top three. So the admin level, this is the highest level, okay? You really want to be careful. If you do not know this person, please do not do that. We hear horror stories all the time. I mean, it's Halloween month, so it makes sense. But all the time, clients and prospects have given access to somebody they trusted, and next thing you know, you know, they don't have access anymore. So be careful. Editor level is the one we're going to focus on. This is the one that you can really, you can create new blog posts and you can interact. They can interact with the comments and things like that. And then you have one level below that. That's the moderator level, okay? This has the limited ability to work with uh, Facebook social media posts. And then there are other roles. I am going to highlight this page here. This is um, not a bad um resource so if i were to go here <clears throat> and just kind of show you this um i'm not going to spend a lot of time in here but this is a definitely uh article from the facebook help center and they have a table down here that tells you that okay admin editor moderator advertiser analyst and jobs manager and you can see uh, by the check mark what they have and what they don't have okay so definitely understand the levels first before you do that Next, we're going to jump into the actual demo. Um, this is our page that I just showed you. So what are we trying to do here? Okay, so we're trying to give this person um, access. This is actually my personal account and another person who's gonna be managing our our Facebook page, uh, Coach Lou. And then we're also removing one user that is no longer uh, working with us on social media. Okay, so let's, let's jump into this. I'm going to walk you uh, through the steps one by one. Not that you're not paying attention, but this would be a good time to pay attention, okay? So I'm logged in. Make sure, make sure you're logged in with your admin account, okay? Then what you wanna do is scroll on the left side. This is the new interface, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> and then click on settings, right? Page settings for my Dallas SEO page. And then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to select where it says page roles on the left side, okay? When I do that, um, it's going to pop up this section in the middle and it, it gives you many options, you know, if you want to change ownership and do do other things. But I'm simply going to select where it says assign a new page role. OK, that's the one we're trying to do. Um, and then I'm, when I click on that, it actually brings me down here. So this is interesting now. You, they've already selected um, the proper access. Like I said, there are six levels. Editor is gonna be the most common one. 
So there's two things you can do here, okay? You can start typing in the email address of the person, okay? And so when I do this, <coughs> apparently there's a lot of cost shifts in here. Um, did I do this right? Oops, cost shift M at mail.com. This was, yeah, there it is. Okay, so maybe I, I mistyped it, but that's the person. You can do that. It looks like this person's already liked, uh, liked the uh, page. The other thing you can do is you can simply type that person too, unless their name is, uh, you know, um, something like John Scott or something like that. Uh, so I'm just going to select that one, okay? And then you just, the next thing is you really want to make sure, like I said, they have the proper access and then you're going to click add, okay? And then of course, uh, even though I just added my information not too long ago, Facebook wants to make sure that I am who I'm telling them that I am. So I'm going to log in and do that, okay? Now I just did that and then how do you know who's the owner? So scroll if you scroll down, this is where we were. If you scroll down, you can see that I already have three editors on my Facebook. This one is pending. You can, if you made a mistake, you can cancel the invitation here too, okay? So, so that's how you do that, okay? Um, now, I guess the next thing really is that we really need the new account, the new team member to log into their Facebook account and test this page role, okay? Um, they're obviously going to get a, get an email. Um, you can certainly go through your email and do that. We're not going to do that, but a couple of other things you can do. You can either log out of the web browser and log in with the other account, right? Or do what we're doing, which is just really try another web browser. Okay. So I'm going to, I believe I have this open. So I'm actually logged into, this is my, uh, this is my Facebook account. Okay. So I, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this. And then typically what's going to happen is you should get a notification here, um, right there. And I'm getting a lot of emails. All, every time I do a demo, I get a lot of emails. My phone rings, uh, the dogs start barking, and then, you know. But here you go. See, it says Cash invited you to become an editor of Dallas SEO. This is my body double here, obviously. So now, um, you know, this, this is it. I mean, all you need to do is you can view the page, you can do other things, but I'm simply going to select accept, okay? Now when I do that, um, and let me just refresh this again. Let me go back to my um, Facebook page. It, you should really have your, the, the new page is gonna start showing up here. In fact, it's right there, okay? So now with this new account, I can go in and, you know, I can go crazy, okay? It looks like, whoa, it's Halloween time. By the way, speaking of Halloween, this just sort of happened, but uh, we are extending 10% off. So tick or treat, call us, please. All right, uh, so that's, I think that's pretty much uh, how you give access. One thing I do want it to do here is go back to my other account. So I got too many things going on here. So now, by the way, if I refresh, this pending should go away uh, and it should really, it should really have the other person, um, my other evil twin, as as the um, as the editor. Okay, so if I if I scroll down, what happened there? There you go. So I have that person. Okay, we're good to go. This person, um, Lana, is not working on this anymore. So you can also go and click edit. Okay, and then you should be able to just remove them. Okay. You should be, I uh, selected that, and then I said remove. Um, it says if you remove, they cannot, uh, they can choose to transfer the ownership. So sure, let's let's see what happens here. <clears throat> Man, talk about security, right? Let's do this one more time. How many times can I type correctly? All right, so looks like I believe I was expecting that they would say, who do you want that to go to? But apparently they just, I think, automatically assign it to, assign it to the owner, okay? So, so that was the main video. Uh, I think the last thing I really have is, you know, if you can um, subscribe to our channel, if you found this useful, um, please like our videos um, and connect with us. We are the super duper 
digital marketing team. Um, we, you can visit our website, email us, call us, um, and connect with us on social media. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. Please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you could like that video, that would be great. Uh, for additional information, you are welcome to connect with us through all of these avenues. We have our website, so that's datatechnologyllc.com. Um, I can uh, show you this right here. So this is, uh, this is our company. We're based in Dallas, Texas. Uh, you are also welcome to visit our social media pages. So we're on facebook.com slash Dallas SEO by cash um, and also on Twitter which is the same one so let me uh, show you that uh, here we try to definitely post um, on a regular basis and uh, there's lots of uh, ideas and whatnot r related to digital marketing um, and same thing here on uh, Twitter so it's uh, twitter.com slash Dallas SEO by cash um, definitely engage with us, get, you know, jump into the conversation and uh, that would be great. And finally, uh, there's two more things. Um, we, we are on LinkedIn, so this is our URL for that. And um, definitely on YouTube, so it's uh, youtube.com slash bagel. And so let me just show you that uh, so LinkedIn is right here, by the way. Um, and then uh, YouTube, we have, uh, we have more than... Um, 200 videos so definitely uh, I would think you would find the um, channel quite useful um, other than that uh, once again um, I appreciate uh, watching the video and you have a good day